So, you've heard of Titanoboa, right? The 13-meter monster snake that ruled the Paleocene swamps of Colombia? For years, it was the undisputed heavyweight champ of the snake world. But now, in 2025, that crown is under serious threat. Because scientists have finally uncovered fossil evidence pointing to a serpent that may have been even longer. And no, we're not talking about some fantasy or hoax. This thing was real, and it's not alone. Titanoboa wasn't the only super snake in prehistory. Not even close. There were others, bigger than life, forgotten by time, until now. Let's start in Australia, because apparently ancient Australia was a nightmare factory. Wanambi was one of the last members of an extinct family called Matsuaidae. Not venomous, but at six meters long, it didn't need venom. It crushed its prey to death, and it coexisted with early humans just 40,000 years ago. Imagine that thing waiting near a watering hole while your ancestors stopped for a drink. Then came Yulunga, also from Australia, but even bigger, around eight meters. What made it unique was its rigid skull, which looked more like a burrowing lizard's than a modern snake's. That raised a question. Did it hunt underground? Whatever the case, it was a silent, muscle-packed ambush predator from the Miocene. Next, we jump to South America and meet Matsoya Bai. Ten meters long and built like a constrictor tank. It lived shortly after the dinosaurs vanished, during a time when mammals were just starting to rise. Matsoya wasn't flexible like modern pythons. It used sheer crushing force to suffocate its prey, likely small mammals and reptiles. And then there was Gigantophis, a true prehistoric legend. Estimated at over 10.5 meters, it slithered through what is now North Africa about 40 million years ago. For decades, it held the title of largest snake ever, until Titanoboa knocked it off the throne. But still, Gigantophis was no joke. Fossils suggest it weighed over 1,000 pounds and could easily ambush ancient crocodiles or early elephants. But now, let's talk about Paleophis Colossius, the real star of this story. This snake lived in the ancient coastal waters of Africa and its fossilized vertebrae were found in Mali. Estimated at 12 meters long, Paleophis wasn't just massive, it was aquatic. Picture a snake as long as a city bus swimming silently through murky Eocene waters. That's what we're dealing with. Its name literally means ancient snake, and it belonged to a now extinct group of sea serpents. Its bones were so huge that some paleontologists initially questioned the measurements. But they're real, and unlike Titanoboa, which dominated swamps, this thing ruled the ocean. And just when you think it can't get any crazier, meet Vasuki. Discovered in India and described in 2024, Vasuki is estimated to have reached up to 15 meters. Yes, 15. That's 49 feet. Its fossilized vertebra was slightly smaller than Titanoboa's, but its body proportions were longer and slimmer, like comparing a tank to a bullet train. While Titanoboa was dense and muscular, Vasuki may have been the longest snake ever to exist. So, was Titanoboa really the biggest? Maybe not. With Paleophis lurking in ancient oceans and Vasuki stretching longer than anything we've seen before, the prehistoric world had no shortage of snake nightmares. One thing's clear, Titanoboa might have been the headline, but it was never alone at the top. If this blew your mind even half as much as it did mine, hit that like button, subscribe to Nature's Secrets and share this video with someone who thinks they can handle snakes. Let's see if they still say that after meeting Vasuki. See you in the next one, if the snakes don't find us first.